Welcome to an occasional op-ed of Mayank Chaya Reports. I am Mayank Chaya. It was inevitable in the current climate of social media toxicity and invective that the Wall Street Journal's White House correspondent Sabrina Siddiqui would be harassed and intimidated online for asking an anodyne question of India's Prime Minister Narendra Modi. During a news conference on June 22nd at the White House as part of the Prime Minister's state visit, Siddiqui asked him this. Mr. Prime Minister, India has long prided itself as the world's largest democracy, but there are many human rights groups who say that your government has discriminated against religious minorities and sought to silence its critics. Um, as you stand here in the East Room of the White House, where so many world leaders have made commitments to protecting democracy, what steps are you and your government willing to take to improve the rights of Muslims and other minorities in your country and to uphold free speech? Uh, I'm saying that people say that people say that no, Bharat democracy is not. और जैसा राष्ट्रपति बाइडेन ने कहा भारत और अमेरिका दोनों के डीएनए में लोकतंत्र है लोकतंत्र हमारा स्पिरिट है लोकतंत्र हमारे रगों में है लोकतंत्र को हम जीते हैं और हमारे पूर्वजों ने उसको शब्दों में ढाला है संविधान के रूप में और हमारी सरकार लोकतंत्र के मूलभूत मूल्यों को आधार लेकर के बने हुए संविधान के आधार पर चलती है और हमारा संविधान और हमारी सरकार और हमने सिद्ध किया है डेमोक्रेसी कैन डिलीवर और जब मैं डिलीवर कहता हूं तब कास्ट क्रीड रिलीजन जेंडर किसी भी भेदभाव को वहां जगह नहीं होती है और जब हम लोकतंत्र की बात करते हैं तब अगर ह्यूमन वैल्यूज नहीं है ह्यूमैनिटी नहीं है ह्यूमन राइट्स नहीं है फिर तो वो डेमोक्रेसी है ही नहीं और इसलिए जब आप डेमोक्रेसी कहते हैं जब डेमोक्रेसी को स्वीकार करते हैं और जब हम डेमोक्रेसी को लेकर के जीते हैं तब डिस्क्रिमिनेशन का कोई सवाल ही नहीं उठता है और इसलिए भारत सबका साथ सबका विकास सबका विश्वास सबका प्रयास उन मूलभूत सिद्धांतों को लेकर के और इसलिए हम चलते हैं भारत में सरकार के जो बेनिफिट्स है वो एक्सेस टू ऑल है जो भी उसके हकदार है उन सब को मिलते हैं इसलिए भारत के लोकतांत्रिक मूल्यों में कोई भेदभाव नहीं है न धर्म के आधार पर न जाति के आधार पर न उम्र के आधार पर न भूभाग के आधार पर इन एन आइडियल वर्ल्ड दैट शुड हैव बीन दैट बट नॉट इन द वर्ल्ड दैट वी लिव इन द वेरी फैक्ट दैट मोदी वाज आस्क्ड अ क्वेश्चन लाइक दैट एंड दैट टू एट द व्हाइट हाउस ड्यूरिंग हिज मच क्रोड अबाउट स्टेट विजिट वाज सीन एज एन अफ्रंट बाय हिज लीजन ऑफ सपोर्टर्स ऐड टू दैट द फैक्ट दैट सिद्दीकी इज अ मुस्लिम and whose father although born in india grew up in pakistan and whose mother is a pakistani was perfect grist for the lunatic social media mill she almost immediately exposed herself to vicious social media trolling emanating mainly out of india and that too by the avowed supporters of the prime minister and his bharatiya janata party bjp It is a measure of how bad the intimidation became that a question was raised during a regular White House media briefing yesterday when John Kirby the National Security Council spokesman was asked about it his response was something New Delhi ought to have taken note of and this is what he said I want to follow up on, on a different subject briefly um at the question and answer event with the president and prime minister modi our colleague sabrina sadiki of the wall street journal asked a question of the prime minister and since that time she has been subjected to some intense online harassment from people inside india 
Some of them are politicians. They have associations with the pro-Modi government. And in part, they've been targeting her because of her uh, Muslim faith and questioning her own heritage. Uh, because this was supposed to be about democracy and uh, in some form, wanted to find out what is the White House reaction to the fact that a journalist posing a question to a Democratic leader is getting that kind of pushback. Uh, we're aware of uh, the reports uh, of that harassment. It's unacceptable. And we absolutely condemn any harassment uh, of journalists anywhere, under any circumstances. Um, that's just, uh, that's completely unacceptable. It's antithetical to uh, the very principles of democracy that, uh, that, that, that you're right, uh, were on display last week uh, during the state visit. Whether Sabrina Siddiqui is a Muslim or a Pakistani or from Mars for that matter, what the color of her hair is or the brand of shoes that she wears is utterly irrelevant to the substance of her question. The Prime Minister answered it in the way he thought was appropriate. Whether his reply was supported by facts on the ground is a different debate, but the particular exchange should have ended there. It did not, and prompted not one, but two White House comments, the second one being from Karine Jean-Pierre, the press secretary, who said this. Um, so there's one thing I just want to address really quickly, um, which I think is really important. It goes to Kelly O's question about um, Sabrina and what she has been dealing with uh, since Thursday. So I just want to just reiterate a little bit what John said is that we're, we're certainly here at the White House under this administration. We're committed to, uh, to the freedom of the press. Uh, which is uh, which is why we had the press conference last week. So just want to remind folks that's why we had the press conference last week. And just to also just repeat what you just all heard from my colleague, uh, we have certainly uh, condemn any efforts of intimidation at, or harassment of a journalist or any journalist that is just trying to do their job. And so I just want to I just want to be very clear about that. I know it is futile to counsel sobriety to a group of people who feel resurgent in their pride about all things Indian, including some obvious failings, but as India positions itself as the most consequential democracy in the world apart from America, its citizens and politicians may consider the option of not bristling at or flying off the handle at any perceived slight.